This is courtesy of LGBTQ Plus Nation, built to expand Alabama's Don't Say Gay Law died because everybody was confused about what it meant. Some Republicans thought that it would apply to bumper stickers in the school parking lot. So I love that these bills are one by one going down in flames. As you all know, the Don't Say Gay Law in Florida is effectively dead. And now the Alabama Don't Say Gay Law, or at least the attempt to expand it, failed because it's just overly vague. And that's a problem with these laws. If you make it too specific, then it becomes unconstitutional because you can't discriminate against people on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity. So they leave it vague. And that does a couple of things, right? It kind of protects it from judicial scrutiny. And it also chills speech the most dramatically because if you don't know what is or isn't okay, odds are you're going to play it safe and just not say or express yourself in the way that you otherwise would. So uh, they explain here, a bill to expand Alabama's Don't Say Gay Law and ban pride flags from classrooms has died after the legislative session came to a close without a vote on the bill. State Representative Mark Butler, who sponsored the bill, said that he doesn't know why his bill didn't pass other than it was deemed a little controversial. Alabama public school teachers are already prohibited from leading discussions on LGBTQ plus identities through fifth grade. The new legislation, HB 130, would extend that restriction through 12th grade. So they're just copy pasting what Florida did, right? It started out uh, with uh, classroom discussions, I think, from kindergarten through third grade. And then DeSantis was all up in arms because journalists were lying about it. And he's saying, no, it's just for the youngest kids, you know, uh, K through third grade. And then what does he do? A year later, he expands it to 12th grade because, of course, that's what you do. They follow the same playbook. They're fascists, of course. They want to stop all LGBTQ plus speech because it's not about protecting kids. It never has been about protecting kids. It is about pushing queer people back into the closet. So the bill would also remove a line from existing law stating that teachers cannot discuss LGBTQ plus identities in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students in accordance with state standards and completely ban such discussions. Opponents of the bill said that it would force LGBTQ plus students and staff to go back into the closet in schools since the law was vague about what discussions exactly would be restricted. Exactly my point. Um, so I do want to go down because they get to some specifics here. Okay. Skipping a paragraph. Some of the confusion about the bill uh, was discussed in Alabama Senate where State Senator Larry Strutz asked whether it would apply to bumper stickers on cars and school parking lots. Uh, parking lots, excuse me. Butler replied that school property doesn't include parking lots. The property is not parking lots? Strutz asked. Well, we're talking about the actual building, Butler replied. Butler later told reporters that the concern was ridiculous, but admitted that confusion around the bill may have prevented it from passing. So just to remind you, Butler, this is the sponsor. And he's getting a little bit frustrated because you have a fellow Republican asking, well, what are the parameters of this? And he's like, dude, you're, you're fucking up. You're fucking it up for me. Shut the fuck up. OK, don't ask stupid questions like that. OK, just just go along with it. We both hate gay people and trans people. Just just vote for the fucking bill. And stop asking questions. So it's funny to me. There are lots of questions from legislators on both sides of the aisle. The SPLC's Glenn said. Uh, State Representative Anthony Daniels, a Democrat, the House Minority Leader, likened the bill to bullying. We're bullying a certain class or group of people because they don't have the representation to fight back, Daniels told the Associated Press. That's exactly right. Butler also reportedly tried to add an amendment which failed specifically stating that the state's space camp may not teach children about LGBTQ plus issues. They're getting so specific. Like, is, is the space camp teacher... A trans dude or something? Why space camp? This is so fucking weird. The amendment was issued in reaction to the revelation that a single employee of the Huntsville space camp is strange. Okay, I swear to God, I did not read that. <laughs> I have not read this article beforehand. I just saw the first couple of paragraphs. Oh my God. These people are so easy to read. Holy shit. The revelation angered a slew of parents and politicians who called for the employee to be fired. That is so insane. So it's a it's a whole ass scandal that somebody is just transgender. People, you need to get lives. You need to grow the fuck up. Stop being children, okay? The fact that they throw conniption fits over one teacher that happens to be trans. Jesus Christ. It's it's so unhinged, but it's not surprising because when you're conservative, you are deeply unserious. 
and things that aren't problems are problems to you. The actual problems, fuck that. But the things that aren't problems, that's what you're going to hyper-focus on. And it's funny. So I've been watching One Piece, and there's one character that basically has special powers that allow them to turn people trans and inject them with hormones. Like, claws come out, and you inject people with hormones and turn them into the opposite gender. And I swear to God, I was watching this, and I'm thinking, this is what conservatives think trans people do, right? They have these powers, and as soon as they see somebody, they just inject them (laughs) with with hormones and then flip a switch like that turn them trans that's what i think these conservative parents believe is going to happen to their kids if they're in the presence of a transgender uh teacher it's it's so unhinged and stupid i have concerns about calling out one institution when we have camps and things all over said republican committee chair terry collins according to al.com and that's funny because again this is a republican who's saying this and Even this Republican is like, it's kind of weird that you're trying to make legislation around one fucking teacher. I mean, it's not unheard of for Republicans because in Kentucky, remember, when they were doing their gender uh, or not their gender affirming care ban, it was a ban on transgender athletes in school sports. So there was only one known trans athlete in the entire state. And that one child who was 12 at the time, maybe 13, showed up to testify and said, hey, their name was uh, Fisher Wells. And she was like, listen. Me and my friends, uh, we like playing hockey. Please don't ban me from this uh, sport. Uh, the sport wouldn't actually be offered to the school had it not been for me trying to rally enough girls to create a team. So please don't ban me. They banned her. So it's not unheard of to have politicians, specifically Republicans, create legislation around one fucking person. But at least you have some pushback here. And this Republican is like, you're making legislation about one person? That does seem weird, right? So you're calling out Space Camp because if there's a transgender person, are you going to call out the library or AP? I mean, I shouldn't ask that question because the answer is yes. But yeah. So uh, the discussion of the bill uh, started off on the wrong foot with Butler writing in its initial description that it would purify schools in the state, something Democrats called him out for. Uh, State Representative Barbara Drummond said that the idea of purifying schools was subjective. That's exactly right. Uh, Is that what we should be aiming for, she asked, someone else's subjectivity? Yeah, because purifying schools, like when a Republican says it, I just think that he means he's going to make it like a Christian haven, which you can't do. That's unconstitutional. But purifying schools can mean literally anything. It can mean we purify schools from germs and we clean them really well. Uh, It can mean we purify schools from far-right influence. We purify schools from, you know, whatever, you name it. I mean, part of the problem is he tanked his own fucking bill. And good, right? Republicans are very stupid. So I am glad that, you know, he, he kind of is his own worst enemy. But sometimes you just say too much and you end up fucking yourself up. And when that happens, you know, we love to see it. Uh, No, ma'am, said Butler. Drummond brought up the word purity again at a later hearing. Where does it stop? Do we just patchwork and keep doing it over and over again? And I'm using your word from the latest, uh, from the last public hearing until you uh, purify the state of Alabama. She said, exactly. Most Americans, in addition to Alabamians, see these bills for what they really are, disgraceful. Magaled attempts to recycle false and outdated tropes about LGBTQ plus identities, the Alabama chapter of the Human Rights Campaign said in a statement. Alabama has real issues facing education, voting rights, and criminal justice reform, and now it's time that lawmakers turn their attention to those issues instead of wasting taxpayers' money to demonize an entire community. Yeah, exactly right. What they don't realize is that this is not helping them. Right. There was a moment where I was worried that this would actually help Republicans because it's worked in the past. But I think that most Americans, even if maybe they agree with the bigoted uh, rhetoric, the homophobia, the transphobia, it's not a motivating factor for them. Right. It does mobilize people who are queer and have LGBTQ plus family members. But I mean, if you're just like transphobic, uh, this isn't your motivating factor. It's not going to be what gets you out to the polls. Uh, So it's just not very salient. So I think that as that continues to happen, hopefully we should start to see these bills uh, die more and more. Certainly they're dying because of judicial challenges. It's, you know, it's not every one of them is going to die due to judicial scrutiny, right? But many of them will. And I think that Republicans are finding out the hard way that this whole hysteria around trans people, it's just not, it's not working, right? 
But that's good news, and I wanted to share that with you all. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, F around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, gay pride. Trans rights are human rights. It is necessary to push trans on the kids. Gay, 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 gay